Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. As you know, I'm on the road doing my national tour, so this week's technical analysis will be done by Trader Cobb. He's recently joined the Nuggets News team. He's got more than 10 years experience trading futures, commodities, bond markets. I think you guys are going to like his take um, on five of our favorite cryptocurrencies. Hey guys, uh, my name is Trader Cobb. That's Trader Cobb C O double B for Bravo. And um, yeah, look, I'm just going to do a video for you guys today to all the Nuggeteers out there, uh, based purely on technical analysis. I'm uh, part of Nuggets membership group, the Crypto Academy. There, um, purely from a technical trading perspective. Uh, I've been trading uh, traditional markets uh, for the last 11 years, and my approach is a very structured one with written checklists, and I'm, I'm very structured. Uh, in the way that I go about uh, my day-to-day -day running of my business. And um, effectively, I've taught a lot of people all around the world how to trade, and uh, I know that my methods work very, very well. And look, I don't try and teach people about technical analysis per se, in, in the sense that um, I'm not really trying to look at absolutely everything. So there's some things that you'll probably see within this video that that I might not use, um, and that I, you know, not necessarily will rubbish, but I just don't use them in my trading, and therefore they're not really relevant. So I kind of use what I know works uh, for my trading strategy. So I teach strategy, I trade strategy, and technical analysis is the vehicle for that strategy. So my perspective today is really to give you guys a bit of a look into what I think of uh, these five uh, tokens or coins that Nuggets uh, requested that I have a look at and um, just give you a purely technical point of view and, and that's about it really. I mean on these five that we're going to look at here is uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, NEO and OMG. Um, obviously a, a number of you that have been around Nugget for quite some time will know that these have been uh, some very strong buy and holds from the fundamental point of view for Nugget and his members for quite some time now and it remains the same. He, he has said that they're there's no plans to offload any of these at the moment. Many of them are on a fantastic run still, and they've uh, performed very, very well. So yeah, look, it's pretty straightforward. I'm just going to take you through an analysis of, uh, of what I see based on the charts. And we're going to start with Bitcoin here. First things first, I, I like to look at uh, my charts as a keep it simple type methodology. I don't have too much stuff here. As you can see, I've got two moving averages. Uh, that I work with and the MACD. That, that is absolutely all. I don't really pay too much attention to the crossing of the of the MACD. Actually, when I say too much, that's an, an over-exaggeration. I, I don't actually put any attention on the crossing. It's just how I use it. I, I use it for convergence and divergence. So I'm a trend trader. I'm a trend following trader. And uh, Bitcoin, um, at the moment, I mean, it's, it's taken a big sigh. It's it's kind of slowed up. I mean, we, we're used to seeing these extraordinary moves on Bitcoin and, and it really has slowed down a little bit. The reasons for which it's done that, we've all got our thoughts, we've all got our opinions, and many of those opinions and thoughts are probably right. And I'm just not gonna give opinions, I'm just gonna read what the chart's telling me. So right now on Bitcoin, on this daily chart, there's a higher low here and a higher high. That makes it in an uptrend. Now granted, it is not the strongest uptrend in the world right now because we just haven't got that, you know, I'd love to see a new higher low here and then push on to a higher high and ultimately get through 20,000 on the road to, f f to further gains. We're just not really there just yet. So the daily is looking bullish, not massively, not overly bullish. And what I like to see is pullbacks into this 10 and 20 period moving average zone. Like here, like here, like here, like here, like here, like here. I call that the crypto cradle and I've got trading strategies that's designed ex exclusively around that area. And as you can see, we're not quite in that area just yet. So I'm not too, uh, I'm not really looking for a trade on Bitcoin. I like to look at the weekly as well. And as you can see, you know, we've pulled back once last year into the cradle, moved away, pulled back in again into the cradle, moved away, pulled back in, moved away. And last time I had that severe pullback in that, you know, it's a very fast pullback it tends to be in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. We did see a very strong bounce, but we're kind of getting a little bit caught up. Uh, I love to see the high of this candle broken. We got a bullish candle in that zone. If we could break to the upside, it would look very bullish. But right now it's kind of, um, you know, if, if you're a big Bitcoin believer, it's a good time to be accumulating because we're just sort of holding. 
Uh, on the four hour, again, we've got this lower high. Uh, if it breaks down through here, it will be a lower low and therefore on the midterm frame, sorry, midterm time frame, uh, yeah, it would look bearish. So that's Bitcoin. Uh, Ethereum has been on an absolute um, monster of a run, which is deserved. Well done, Ethereum. After watching Ripple do its thing for a while, I'm like, come on, what about a, what about something like Ethereum, which is you know the Mac Daddy really uh, of the alts, and it's actually started to have that run now. Uh, Nugget's been you know a big holder of Ethereum for quite some time. I put a, a trade call out uh, to the members um, back here through this break, and it's gone absolutely wonderfully since then uh, and right now all I can say right now on Ethereum is that it looks very 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 bullish if I was to do any work on whereabouts an area of good value for pullback would be where I may be looking to buy more Ethereum it would have to be around that $1,000 mark it's back into that cradle zone it's also around that 50% area I say around because it's not exact um, but 50% is not actually a Fibonacci level it's not a part of the sequence it's just between the zero and the 100% so therefore it's a level that we do consider to uh, look at anything around $1,000 would be a, a nice pullback and would be very healthy for Ethereum right now based on the daily on the four hour I mean, look, you can see each time it pulls back into that cradle, it's having a good move. We did see a bit of a correction. I think that was around that Korean FUD news type thing. Um, but, you know, we are pushing on to new all-time highs. And look, at the end of the day, Ethereum does look extraordinarily bullish. And I'm looking for breakout levels. Uh, I'm looking for pullbacks into the cradle. I'm looking for Fibonacci levels. Good convergence of the MACD. That's how I use it. It, it, it really just looks like it's going to go from strength to strength for the time being. I, I don't see any other... Any other feasible reason really to uh, suggest anything other than it does look very, very strong. Uh, Litcoin or Litecoin or however you want to pronounce the word, it's uh, looking at it right now, it's kind of a little bit stuck. Uh, obviously it had its absolutely barnstorming run. We have this uh, higher low here and a higher high. It is like Bitcoin, it is in an uptrend. However, that uptrend is not quite as significant or beautiful as something like Ethereum. Uh, it's pulled back into that cradle, but those moving averages are not really in the order that I want them to be. It's not looking that great on the daily, I've got to say, and the four hour as well. You know, we've got this high, high, high low, but if we break down through this low here, what's the low, 231.42, uh, it would be then therefore in a four hour downtrend and therefore very similar to Bitcoin in that midterm time frame in a downtrend. There's no real trading opportunities that I'm stalking on Litecoin. Neo again going uh, going very very well here. Uh, it's had some great opportunities to trade it too. I mean, it's we've seen some. Uh, one of my strategies is called a Bitcoin breakout. So a lovely breakout of resistance. Uh, where was that? What have we got here? A little while back, it's uh, I think it was through this level. Yeah, there it is. It's it's been it's been just trading very very well. Retested that level back here once, back twice, and I mean, look, forget about the past because we can't do anything about it. It's uh, it's just really been working very well. Again, a bullish candle in that cradle, a bullish candle in that cradle, and uh, pull back into that cradle again. Retested 100 and pushed on. Neo again looking very bullish. Good convergence of the MACD there. Uh, a little bit, a little bit funny on the four hour here, but it does look still strong. Am I looking to buy Neo right now? No, not right now. Not at these levels. I'd like to see it pull back in. Maybe a um, let's just have a look here. Uh, maybe a pull back into. Let's just draw the fib correctly. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. I think. Um, I use support and resistance, Fibonacci and the cradle zone, guys. My, my trading strategies are very straightforward. They're structured, they're checklist. I've been doing it for 11 years and I know that they work. I'm not saying other people's strategies don't work, but I, I can only have faith in what I do and absolutely know it works. And you can see there's a level of resistance here, test one, test two. Uh, it's also in line with the 50% level here uh, and uh, a pullback into there would be in the cradle zone. If I could get a small bullish candle on say the four hour, which is what this time frame is, or eight hour or even 12 hour, then I would be very keen to look to trade Neo. We haven't got it of course just yet. Uh, I'll keep the members alerted as and when that happens, but um, yeah, it, it's, it's looking really really good there if it was to pull back into there. That's the sort of thing I'll be looking for. And that's what I call stalking a trade. Uh, I'm playing out what I would like to see before the market actually gets there. Therefore, if it does set up the way that I feel I would like to see it, um, I'm kind of in the flow of the market then and it gives me the confidence uh, and it gives me the, um, you know, the strategy that I need to go ahead and place that trade. Of course, it's not there just yet, but it does look very, very strong. And finally, OMG. Uh, another good hold here from uh, from Nugget. 
uh, looking really good. It's just starting to get, to get its skates on. Uh, I, I did get a trade call out to the members back here, a break of this, a break of this crypto cradle strategy that I teach, a uh, high of that, and it's pushed on very, very well past its first one-to-one -one target, and uh, moving averages fanning beautifully, good convergence of the indicators, and the trend's really starting to get a bit of momentum now. Uh, OMG, it's a really good project. Uh, I really like it on the fundamental side, but more importantly, like I say, I'm not here to talk fundamentals because why would I? Alex is very, very good at that. <laughs> I'm a technical trader and as far as the charts go, the fundamentals are matching the technicals here and uh, OMG is looking very, very good. I'm just gonna go down the time frame, see if there's some resistance forming and there is. So this is the beginning of uh, a level of resistance. I only trade when I've got three specific uh, price tests. Right now I'd call that one, I'd call that two. I'd love to see price come back up and retest that level, giving me a higher low here for a stop loss point. Uh, it's not there yet, but I'm looking and waiting for a third test, which may set up a potential trading opportunity there. But OMG once again looking very, very strong, uh, as is everything but Litecoin and Bitcoin for the time being, guys. So look, if you want to get more information about my style of trading and free content or courses or anything like that, you can join me on Twitter. It's at TraderCobb, C-O-double-B. You can follow me on Facebook, just Google, or sorry, just Facebook, TraderCobb, C-O-double-B. And you can go to my website, which is TraderCobb.com for all your trading, crypto trading and technical analysis needs. All these links, of course, all this detail is in the uh, description just below. Guys, I love to teach, I love to trade, and uh, I'd love to continue to be able to help you guys out. Hopefully you like what I've done. Uh, hopefully this makes sense to you, and uh, hopefully we can keep on uh, dominating and doing really well from all the experts and people around this community that uh, is Nuggets Crew. So guys, thank you very much for your time. I look forward to giving and providing a lot more for you, and I look forward to our paths crossing down the track. Thanks very much. Bye for now.